It is alleged that there is a kidnapping syndicate in the area. Mpoma Zibugo, not her real name, and her two colleagues who are farm workers were used as pawns by the kidnappers who wanted money from the farm owner. Mazibugo says her family and community members managed to donate around 85,000 rand for her to be released. She adds that this was a very traumatic experience. They beat us, we ran to the farm until we crossed by the border to Mozambique. That's why we have been there since for that five days. They beat us just to show up our managers how serious they are. Because the man that they needed, it was 350,000 for all of us, but our bosses refused. We don't know why, we wish to know even now why they refused to send up the money so that we can be free earlier. Community members want government to do something. As a community, we are very disturbed by what happened. We are not at peace even though they are back at home. We ask that the government must have a way to protect us as its people because we are suffering. The government, my sugum, ibone, isbone lel. We are very upset. We request that government come down to Ngomazi and see the situation here. The community had to work with the police to look for the victims in the mountain where they were kept. The kidnappers had guns while we didn't have them. The uncle of one of the victims says this ordeal has really affected the family. It didn't sit well with us. We were even confused about what to do because this thing happened unexpectedly. We are still not fine, although they are back, as they are not well and still undergoing treatment in hospital. No arrests have been made and the police in the province have called on anyone with information to come forward. Ntlantla Jeli, SABC News, Komati Port, Mpumalang.